Hello my crafty loving friend, Shelly here from A Purpose My Way. Today we're going to do some fall decor for outside. It's going to be wooden pumpkins, three different sizes, and the reason why I have to do that, or I want to do that, is because I have chickens. And my chickens love pumpkins. So if I went and got a regular old pumpkin out of the garden and put it out where they could get it, they would peck at it and there wouldn't be much left. So I decided to, as you can see here, cut out my own wooden pumpkins instead of buying decor. So I did three different sizes and cut them all out and sanded them down so that there were no rough edges and it was easier to stain. Uh, I'm staining first so that because these are going to be outside, I thought that the more layers of stuff that I can put on it to keep it from, um, you know, getting damaged and ruined in the weather, the better. So, I'm using my Minwax uh, Special Walnut Stain and it's almost gone. As you can see, I'm tipping the, tipping the can. <laughs> over because I can't quite get it all out. There's some chunks in there from sitting around for too long. It's old and it needs to be used up. So I'm glad I'm making these to uh, use up my stain and also because I want the decor outside. I think they'll be really cute. So I've got this rustic pumpkin color or rustic orange um, so, of course, um, they're going to be rustic, primitive uh, decor because that's what I like. And also because that's the only can of orange spray paint I could find. Thank goodness it was the rustic color and not the bright, bright orange because I'm not really a big fan of that. So after they dried, and this was a satin spray paint, so there's a little bit of a gloss on there. So. After they dried, I sanded them down and put in, you know, took it right down to the stain on some spots. Tried to make it random. Not sure if I really did, but I tried to. And got around the edges and um, just distressed it right up. Now I have Rust-Oleum Matte Sealer that I'm going to spray on these pumpkins. I put two coats on here again as many coats as I can get on there to keep them from the weather. While those are drying, I found a couple of arrows that I had gotten, I don't know, several years ago and they stuck together and something got on it and they, the paper ripped off them. So I decided that I was going to make my own signs with these so I just sanded down what was on them in case there was anything that would stick up. Um, what I wanted to do originally was to stencil on them um, but I found something different which I'll show you later on to do. So here I'm using my Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint and I'm giving them a nice heavy coat of the black. are nice and dry I'm going to take my Gorilla wood glue and a paintbrush and just kind of paint it on the back of the smaller pumpkin and I'm going to attach it to the middle pumpkin first from the back and I'm going to take my drill bit I'm trying to here I'm trying to uh, just make sure that I'm getting it set up right but I'm going to take my drill bit and I'm going to drill down just a little bit with a little bit of a bigger drill for than the screw so that the head will go down in just a little bit so it doesn't stick out. So I'm going to do three of those in this piece of wood, this pumpkin, the middle pumpkin, and then I'm going to screw that down to the smaller pumpkin and that way the screws will be in the back. You won't see any screws 
any glue, any of that stuff. Just want to be careful how far down in you push those screws so they don't come out the front and here I am just making sure that I didn't go too far and then now I'm going to add the bigger one and I want to layer these on top of each other uh, to make it look like there's three three pumpkins all in a, in a cluster all together so here I am again Gorilla Glue on the back Painting that on there. Again, this is going to be an outside decor, so any extra that I can add to it to make it stronger through the weather, the better. So I've got that on there. I'm just going to flip that over, and then you'll be able to see. Um, I'm going to layer that on there, and I'm taking this piece of wood, tucking it under there so that it doesn't tip. Um, just for a moment so that I can get the holes drilled in there and then screw it down. Spanish moss that I got from I think I got it from the Dollar Tree um, I'm taking that and gluing it down on the bigger the taller pumpkin because I have that black star that's there that I want to put down over it um, and add a nice rustic touch to that make a little bit of uh, add a little touch to the decor As I'm holding it as you can see I'm trimming I like the moss to be kind of everywhere but I kind of cut it a little bit to keep it from getting too crazy give it a little haircut I'm just adding more glue and more moss around it and just kind of filling it in the best I can now I'm taking some of my thicker jute rope that I got from Amazon, I believe. Now I will put links down in the description if you're interested in any of these items that I'm showing you today. Uh, so you can check those out if you'd like. So I'm taking this jute rope and unraveling the ends of them so that they're kind of frayed. And I'm doing two on top of each other, two the same length and just gluing them down so that you can see the ends just all frayed out on it kind of giving it a little bit of a again a rustic look to it adding a little detail and then again going to my moss and I'm going to tuck it in around this little pumpkin just to give it a little again a little rustic touch add a little something to it and a little haircut Add some more in the front and I think it just adds something really nice to it makes it look very rustic now my arrows that I spray painted I bought this sunflower hay rides in pumpkin sign from Dollar Tree a while back um, not too far back but I want to say a week or two ago um, and I was going to do something with them and I decided that I was going to add them on top of my bigger arrows so there's just the pumpkins and the hay rides is all that I'm going to want 
and I thought these would look good and stand out really really nicely and I'm just gluing those down on top and I think they look good so I also got this ribbon from Dollar Tree it's uh, orange, black, and a burgundy color, and I thought those all three were very fall colors. So I decided to just put a little bow at the top with all the colors together on there and just give it a little, a little touch of fall onto my arrows. Okay guys, let's see what you think of my fall decor. Happy fall. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe and have a great day.